So I've blocked that in now, and we're going to start. We're going to start with the painting. And when do you blend? When do you layer? That's the question today. And for this one, I'll just show you the reference. Even if you can't get it terribly in focus, I've got that very smooth graded sky, and I've got the reflections. Now reflections often are a little bit, a bit blurry. They're not as sharp and as crisp as the original that, that, that they're reflecting off. So I want to, to maybe blur those out a little bit and blending is one way to do that. To get the nice smooth sky blending is one way to do that too. I'm just going to layer in some sky colours and then we'll do the little blending bit. So I'm going to start down near the mountain tops with some very light pale blues and then work up to a little bit deeper blues. Now, if I want to make that um, blend in, I can blend it a number of ways. I can just use the pastels to blend, so I can keep going over them with the colours, blending them into each other. Bringing, bringing one colour down on top of another. And you can see I have got a blend there. But if I want to actually cover up all of the surface colour that I've got behind, then I'm going to need to do something a little bit more than that. Of course, I may want the sparkle to come through, in which case I'll just leave it that way. But if I want to actually get rid of that, I'm just going to take the side of my finger and blend. And there I've smoothed it right out. I've got rid of all the colour underneath it. Just going to clean up my hand there with a rag. And it has got the look I, I want, but, but there are lots of artists who don't like blending that way because you lose that sparkle. You're pushing the pastel dust right into the surface and you're crushing those little crystals, which is where the light refracts from and gives you that special luminosity that you get with pastels. So if I want to restore some of that now that I've blended it in, covered up all the background colour that I want to get rid of, I can just layer a little bit more of the colours that I used before over the top and that will give me back the sparkle again. So let's do that. So that's one use for the, the blending. Um, now, down here in the reflections, I'm going to want to blend a little bit more too. So I'll just get some of those reflections in and then we'll see. It's a bit difficult when I haven't done the rest, but I'm looking at my reference and we'll just do the best we can here. And then I'll put the rest of it in later. Usually I would put uh, the landscape in first and then the reflections. But just for this demonstration, let's go this way. So some sky colours going in. There'll be some snow on the mountains, so I'm going to put some snow colours in. Mm -hmm. 
and then when we get over here I'm going to have reflections for this area which is going to be darker with trees and grasses so I'm going to put some of those colors in So that's my basic reflections uh, and I'll give that a little bit of a blend now. So reflections go down, I'm going to blend down. Side of the finger again. You can see I've lost the sharpness of what I had there. I'll be going back and doing more and more layers of that to get that blended look. So just put a few more trees in, some of the clouds, down we go again. And it's starting to look like reflections because I've blended it. Um, so this is where blending can become quite useful. Pastels are not like acrylics or watercolour oil. You don't mix the colour on your palette. You mix it on the paper. So I either choose the colour, exact colour I want, which is quite difficult to do often, um, or I'll use a number of colours to get that colour. But also you want to give it a little bit of depth and you don't want to have just one swipe of a colour and that's going to represent the object that you, you're painting. You want to layer it up and get some depth. So uh, for example, let's have a little look at the grasslands in the front. Here in the front, it's very grassy and you can see you've got lots of different colours in there. So we're going to layer it up to get that. I've started with 
a good base colour in my paper so that should make it quite helpful. There are some darker colours back here with some little light edges so I'm going to start with some darker colours just putting them on in small light strokes and then taking another dark colour and popping it over the top in small strokes. And as I do that they blend in a bit and uh, I, I leave gaps of paper underneath, I have the colours over the top of each other changing each other and I also have parts of the original colour staying as well. So the more colours I get in the more variety I'm going to have in that grass. I'm going to pop a few purples in amongst it as well, not too much. That will just give it a little bit of depth for the shadows in the grasses. So think about the colours that you're putting in. Um, don't just go for the obvious grasses. Dry grass is, is gold and, and brown. Mix it up a little bit. Here in the front, it's a little bit lighter. And I start to give it a little bit of directional strokes as well here. And so I'm, I've layered horizontally and now I'm just layering in some some vertical and oblique sort of strokes as well to give it a bit of variety. Little touches of sun bits there. A little bit of sun out there. So the more I layer, the more interest I get in that area. I'll even put in some, some greens as well because there's a little bit of green colours amongst that. So my grasses are starting to come alive there because I'm layering them. I'll need to put in some more water here where it's coming out into the stream that's running out of the lake. Now this is moving water. So we're going to treat the moving water with some more layering rather than blending because moving water is not smooth whereas the still part of the lake with the reflections is much smoother and and can take some blending, but the moving water, I don't want to blend at all. I want to layer that in. So I'm just layering in some deeper blues uh, and then I'll put in some layers of quite light blues, not, not really white, you don't want it, the white's going to be the really highlights but just some, some little light blues for the, the little froth on the water as it runs over rocks and, and speeds down, down the slope.
So I said blend down for the reflections, and that's true because they go down, but then you'll get that sort of breeze across the water that will ruffle it a little bit, and you just want to give it a little vertical stroke as well. Okay, so I've got the street, I've got the reflections, the stream, the sky in. Um, the rest of the painting will continue with, but that's just some of the ideas uh, about when you might want to blend, when you might want to layer.